In this video, we're going to review a zero-touch disaster recovery solution for Red Hat's Ansible automation platform, leveraging the power of Kong's API gateway and service mesh solution. Here is a high-level overview of our architecture. Up at the top, our end users issuing API requests through an application front end, where the traffic ultimately reaches a Kong API gateway at the edge of our network. The gateway then routes the traffic through Kong's service mesh architecture, which prioritizes the production AAP cluster over the DR cluster. Both of these clusters are executing workloads behind the scenes. For this demonstration, we have a Pig Latin translator, but you can think of this as any business critical workload that you may have in your infrastructure today. The benefit of using a service mesh over a typical load balancer is that any failure at any location within the routing structure will automatically be routed around with no manual intervention required. So regardless of whether the failures are occurring on a service level, a node level, or even a region level, the mesh architecture's dynamic routing capabilities allow for the mesh to route around any errors automatically, allowing you and your team to focus on more high priority issues. Here is the Kong Mesh user interface, which provides high level information about the mesh runtime. Here you can see the two zones that we have deployed today, production, and DR. In order to prioritize the traffic to stay within the prod zone, we have locality aware load balancing enabled on the mesh. This ensures that latency is low and that only if production is down will traffic reach the disaster recovery or DR zone. And then here are the data plane proxies we have deployed. One Kong API gateway for ingress into the mesh and then two AAP or tower services, one for each zone. We also have a Grafana dashboard, which shows the request heating each environment. This will allow us to see how traffic is redistributed as we encounter failures. To see this architecture in action, we'll start by sending requests to AAP, which will be running in Ansible playbooks behind the scenes and printing out the results to the console here. Then the results here, you can see that the time to translate from prod. So we can see exactly which environment this is hitting from the client's perspective. We can see the traffic as it hits each environment. And then up here on the top left and the top right are the AAP UIs showing us the commands that are being run in each case. The top left over here is the production environment. And you can see that we have new instances of our pig Latin translator job being scheduled. And then over on the right is the DR. To simulate a failure, we're going to kick off a job from our DR instance, which will stop the production proxies. Here we, you can see our Kuma stop prod DPP. I'm going to go ahead and execute this. This will effectively terminate the mesh data plane that lives in the production environment forcing the mesh to reroute the traffic to our DR. And after a few seconds, we'll see the instance here. So the last request hit prod. You can see here in our chart that the traffic is now starting to be redistributed to the DR zone, signified by the green line. We can see the last request from our client here, hit the DR zone. And now we have the traffic converging on the DR zone from the mesh perspective. Note that we did not have to touch anything. We didn't have to modify or manually update any configurations or load balancers in order to point to the DR. That this all occurred fully automatically, all from within the service mesh itself. We can let this run for a few minutes to see exactly all the requests are hitting DR. Now let's go ahead and restart the production data plane. We're going to run the start prod DPP task here.
Here you can see the Pig Latin translator requests that were moved from the production to the DR AAP instance. And now that production has been restarted, we should start to see the requests now funnel back over to production. Just like you see here, request 2219. And now you can see that the last API request did come from our prod instance. And this is confirmed by looking at our charts. Where now where the DR zone is losing its traffic and the production traffic is starting to creep back up. And here you can see we have fully recovered. From the client's perspective, no steps were needed, no errors were received, but from the backend configuration, everything was reverted over to the DR automatically. And then when things were resolved on the production side, traffic was rerouted. To recap, we showed how you can achieve effortless disaster recovery by utilizing the self-healing properties of the Kong Service Mesh Platform. This allows for zero-touch failover, where downed mesh nodes are automatically routed around, no manual intervention required. We then showed how once service was restored, traffic was automatically rerouted back to our production environment. Again, no intervention needed, fully automated, fully resilient. To see what else you can do with Kong Mesh, head over to konghq.com.